Hey lovelies, welcome back. Madam Sufi here again to do another review. Hey to the Madam Sufi channel. Welcome sweetheart. I hope that you like, share, comment and definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell to be part of the Sophia squad. You gotta be part of the Sophia squad because you're a sophisticated lady. That's why. Okay, so let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to be using the Tarchi Tape Cosmetics. If you don't have the Tarchi Tape Cosmetics and you'd like something similar to the shade I'm using, Makeup Revolution Define and Conceal Concealer in the color C13 would basically do the same thing for you. So I hope that the new year brings everyone some joy and success. And I hope that everyone is able to achieve what they'd like to achieve. As for me, there are quite a few things I'd like to achieve um, for the year 2019. 2019, I'm really looking forward to starting um, a master's degree program. I'm really looking forward to getting an MBA, being enrolled in a general MBA program um, for the year 2019. And I'm really looking forward to more stability in terms of everything. <laughs> um, right now, I'm at the age where I'm just trying to do whatever that is necessary in order to have a, a stable life, a stable and comfortable life in the long run um, for me and my family. So yeah, these are basically my expectations for the year 2019. So for this tutorial, I'm just really, I know not everyone would be, not everyone have the high-end makeup products and I guess by now you probably realize that on the Madame Sophie channel I do a mixture of everything I don't just use high-end makeup I try as much as possible to use affordable makeup so I'm finishing carving my eyebrows with um, the Tarte Shape Tape Tan Deep Sand Concealer if you'd like a concealer around that shade range, if you could get Makeup Revolution um, in the color C12.5, that would actually work for you. Concealers by Ellie Glow, these colors, these um, concealers actually work as well. Um, and the really good thing I like about this concealer is that when you open it, it has the brush. Um, so again, if you don't have whatever, whatever I'm using, you could always improvise. So the look I'm really going for today is going to be a new year inspired look that has a natural glow to it. So I'm looking forward to doing a natural glow new year eyeshadow look. So just hang in here and get ready with me for this look. Okay, so I'm done carving my my brows. Now, um, for shaping my brows, I went ahead and I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brow, um, brow Pomade. But, but guys, <laughs> you could use the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Brow and, well, the Brow Gel from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Let me see if I can find it. And some, most times I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Gel in addition to my Anastasia Beverly Hills. So again, if you don't have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Dip Pomade, you could use this. You could get this product at any look, um, Walmart. It's only $3. So this is what you could use if you don't have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade. So this is what i use so far so as you could as you see to kind of add dimension to the look i went ahead and i used a darker concealer on, on the top of my brows and i used a lighter concealer at the bottom of my brows i really like to use this method when i carve my brows just because i believe it adds dimension to the look now before i move on to other parts um just to keep my brow in place i recently bought this lash and brow mascara by essence cosmetics um, I, I've used it before and I think that it's pretty good. 
I really like the natural dimension. It's really able to add to my brows. So all I'm doing is lightly, because I don't want to mess up the brows. I just finished took my time to shape up. I'm just going to go like this. Just going to take that gel and just brush it through these hairs. And when I do that, I find that I get a really natural look with my brows. No, well, my brows tend to have a more natural appearance like that. And I'm pretty sure when I zoom in, you guys will be able to see. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from G-Cat Cosme Beauty Cosmetics. And it is an extreme access pocket shadow in um, the walk-off starter. I'm going to use the blending side. And to start things off, I'm just going to go in with this color right here. I really love this color, so I'm going to start off with this color. This color, by the way, costs only $6.99. I believe I paid less for it because um, Ulta Beauty at the time had to buy one, get one half off. Um, so I ended up picking this one up. Um, I don't know how much you'd be able to get this item for at your local beauty store, but okay. Use this color right here. Now the colors do not have any names, so I'm going to use this color right here. So as you can see, there's a lot of fallout, there's a lot of fallout, there's even some fallout on my eyes. Um, so definitely, you might want to be mindful of that. Now this is not going to be a cut crease look because I want this look to be as natural as possible and easy to follow as well. Clean up the top part area of this look, I'm going to go in this color right here. Um, to kind of just add what I mentioned to it, I'm just going to randomly add some concealer to the rest of this eyeshadow look. I'm going to use I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the color Tan Sand. Uh, add some of this, a little bit of this, to the bottom part. Again, we are not cutting the crease. We are just randomly applying. Concealer to the rest of the lid. All right, here. Just to kind of merge everything so that nobody really sees where the colors meet. I basically did it that way because I really wanted a lighter shade of concealer to be on the lower part of the eye because I really want the colors to pop. And just remember, um, when I was when I set my top part, I used the color tan deep sand, and the color tan sand, the shade tan sand, has more of a lighter appearance than the color tan deep sand. So because I wanted a lighter shade for the rest of my eye. I decided to lately add that color. Well, not late, but I, I decided to add the color later on. Up next, I'm gonna use my fat eyeshadow brush from Elf Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna go in the color, this color right here, this really cute gold color. To 
soon as my brush, I'm, I'm using the Mario Buddha School Facial Spray. So I'm just going to apply this color more to the lid section of my eye. not meant to be a cut crease so it doesn't have to be a cut crease if you know what I mean okay so we have that down we're gonna go ahead and do the very same thing on the other eye next I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. This is more of a champagne color. So I'm going to go in this champagne color right here. I'm going to miss my brush. Next, I'm going to go in this color right here. Just gonna go in to just blend that bronze color in with that gold. So that the lines don't look too harsh, I'm just gonna go back in that gold color and I'm just gonna top things up. Okay, so just to wrap things up and make sure that everything is blended in nicely, I'm going to go back in my blending brush. I'm going to go in this color right here. I'm just going to blend everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Super Lash, Super Last, um, the Essence Cosmetic Super Last Eyeliner in Matte Black. Stila Cosmetics um, Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow and I'm, I have it in Diamond Dust. I'm just going to add a little bit of Diamond Dust to the line. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Now since this makeup is, this tutorial is more of, is headed more towards an affordable look for the rest of my face today for foundation, I am going to go ahead and use my L'Oreal Paris Pro Glow Infallible um, Foundation. This is what I'm going to use. And for primer today, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow. If you don't have the NYX Born to Glow, you could also use the Wet n Wild um, foundation primer it's very affordable and it works as well so i'm just going to to 11. now this foundation is on a liquid side so first off, you want to make sure you shake it before you go ahead and use it.
So for um, concealer today, well, just to set my under eye area, I'm going to go ahead and use the Touching Tape Concealer in the color Tan Deep Sand. today I'm gonna to go ahead and use the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro contour wheel so this is what I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna use this color here So to set my face, I'm going to use two setting powders to set my face. I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color um, Suntan. This is what I'm going to use to set my under eye area. the rest of my face guys i'm gonna go ahead and use actually the s bun setting powder is not gonna cost you more than ten dollars i think it costs five something six something i'm gonna leave the price i'm gonna set the rest of my face with my very popular this is not a stranger to my channel i'm gonna use the covergirl setting powder in the color translucent honey So I want to bronze, I want to add some bronzer to my eye look, to my face actually. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer in the color Mahogany. This is what I'm going to use for bronzer today. Now you don't have to do this part, but I'm just trying to be fancy so you don't have to do it, okay? So I'm going to use my Morphe brush to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna for for blushy. I'm gonna use this um, brush by Clean Color Cosmetics in the color Rosewood. I'm gonna use my blush brush to do that step. I think today, guys, I'm also going to go ahead and use another makeup item you'll be able to get in your store. This is by Profusion Cosmetics. This is the highlight and contour palette.
back in my Steel Cosmetics liquid liner. I'm just gonna add a little um, glitter to the bottom part of my look. Okay, now for lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip color by Sugar Pill in the color Duchess. I'm gonna use Duchess by Sugar Pill for my lips today. Now before I do that, I am going to go ahead and line my lips. And to line my lips today, I'm going to use um, Alter Beauty's lip liner in the color Wine. I'm going to use the G Cat Beauty Lips Tonic Lip Tonics in the color Pebbles BFF. The lip plumping lip top coat from um, Also Beauty in clear. So I'm just going to add a little of that because I don't want my lips to be too oily. To wrap up everything, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wix Winky Lux So Extra Plush Rubber Plush Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and use this mascara. Okay guys, so I'm done with my affordable New Year's Eve makeup look. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys loved this look. Let me do a quick course up for you guys to see. Okay, so here's my final thoughts using the JCAC Beauty Cosmetics um, Extreme Access Pocket Eyeshadow in Walk of Stardom. Um, it's an okay eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's it costs less than ten dollars. So I mean, you're, you're gonna have to act. You're gonna have to. You, you get what you pay for. Um, you do get a lot of kickback when you use the matte colors. For some reason, um, the consistency of this gold um, eyeshadow right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the consistency of that gold eyeshadow palette is completely different from all the other eyeshadow palettes i guess it was kind of meant to be like a dual chrome color but it's very difficult to work with because i had to go in really hard with my brush and I'm, I'm guessing when you look at the eyeshadow palette you will see that um more abuse <laughs> was done in the gold in this gold eye, um, eyeshadow color here but i mean apart from that the other colors were perfect um the matte colors, they work very well. They're able to blend in very well with each other. I really love the, the final look I was able to come up with. At first I was, I had my own, I had my own way of thinking, you know, it's not gonna turn out right, it's not gonna turn out right, but I'm happy that um, I was able to achieve a look um, like this, which is not too bad for New Year's, which is not bad <laughs> for a New Year's Eve um, look. Like I said during the tutorial, it is not a cut crease look but it, it's not a cut crease look but even though we were able to give it the impression or the illusion that it was a cut crease this is not a cut crease look i just wanted it to be a quick and easy eyeshadow tutorial for people who just want something simple for new year's eve um it does have that little sparkle to kind of resonate with the whole thing that it's a celebration um and i really love the way this eyeshadow look um the J Cat Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow powder that I use for this tutorial, it is all right. It is okay. Um, I'm not really that much of a big fan when in regards to it. Um, I love J Cat Beauty Cosmetics for their lip products 
as well as what else as well as the loose glitter that's what i normally purchase from them so this was actually my very first time using um an eyeshadow palette from jcap beauty cosmetics so just wanted to point that out to you apart from that um I went ahead and I used my Sugar Pill Duchess Lip Cream, Liquid Lip Cream. Um, you do not have to use that um, lip color. You could use any lip color of your choice. You don't have to add a lip top and you don't have to add a lip plumper. I just decided on my own to do that. So you don't have to take, you don't have to do these steps. Um, but definitely go ahead and use your own lip color, whatever lip color you that's your favorite, go for it. And apart from that, I also went ahead and I used... Um, the still cosmetics yes i went ahead and i used the still cosmetics um liquid eyeshadow glitter eyeshadow in the color diamond dust again you don't have to do this step but i just wanted to add this step just to add a little glam to this look this look is not very glamorous but it's very simple but glamorous enough for its simplicity so that was the idea behind this look because i just wanted a look to be very simple and easy to do for new year's eve and i'm hoping that you guys love this look okay so definitely that's gonna be it for today thank you for tuning in i hope that you like comment and definitely subscribe if you're new to the madame sophie channel and if this is your first time stopping by go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell you gotta hit the bell to be part of the sophia squad because you're a sophisticated lady that's why okay then so that's gonna be it for today i wish you all the best in the year 2019 um i hope that you make the best out of this year um i am definitely hoping for the best as well myself and i hope that this eyeshadow tutorial was indeed helpful to you so don't forget to be fabulous don't forget to be amazing don't forget to be gorgeous and don't forget to be sophie bye honeys